Hi, my name is Bob Grunier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So we are using the Spectrix USB Viz visual spectrometer and I wanted to do some calibration on it. And Bob Higgins, uh, who has often contributed to the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project, he suggested the use of a neon lamp because this has multiple lines over the color spectrum which are well known and he uh, informed me uh, quite accurately that uh, the diffraction gratings can shift and they're not precise and so you need to calibrate it and by using a neon light which has a, a number of lines over the spectrum these are known lines and so they spread the spec uh, over the spectrum and so you can do a calibration. So I was thinking, where am I going to get a neon light from? And it's a case of one man's junk is another man's treasure. And in this case, it is the same man's junk, and that's my junk. And I have a number of these, which are power supplies. You can see here, this is another power supply here, and that is a neon light in there, uh, which I'm showing you at the corner here. I've actually got one under here, and what I've done is I popped off uh, this little... Uh, red piece of plastic that goes on top and so that the spectrometer's head can look at the bulb in there and if we turn off uh, the overview image here you will see that um, I have captured spectrum here in fact it's live and uh, what you are seeing is the spectrum and I've got the color overlay there uh, which we've used before so the clean image of the spectrum is this one and if I go to here you can see the overlay of the visual spectrum now that overlay is at a transparency level so you can see the lines uh, below uh, so it's actually less saturated but uh, it gives you a good idea and what we have actually in our uh, lab here at the moment is a number of other old pieces of junk which I will look at for other spectrum and I will show you those shortly. Before I do that, I'll just show you if I take this off, uh, you'll see that the spectrum is changing. It is live. Uh, so there is the neon light that we've been looking at there. And essentially these are quite cheap to get, but then you'll have to wire it up and whatever. And I just thought, oh, I've got, sure, I've got something down in my cellar uh, that will do, do the job. And uh, so there it is. I've actually got, if you look, I have a long uh, integration time in milliseconds here and a uh, long averaging time. So if I actually show that to the compact fluorescent in here, you'll see that there is a big change in the look of the waveform there. So that's a, actually, it's not a compact fluorescent. It's two different types of um, fluorescent tubes. There's a a daylight one and a warm one in here so you can see the spectrum coming from those two tubes and if I go back and put this back into shot over like that it's only going to be seeing the uh, neon and so the averaging will bring that down in time if you look at it it's got a lot of signal from the other one <laughs> so and if we change the average down here, you'll see a much faster response here. So there we go. That's the live feedback, which you can see. It's very satisfying, this device, because it, it really does give you very fast responses. And that, that is a 290 milliseconds integration time. So very clean signal coming from that neon light. And it is peaking here. So actually by averaging it up. So where did I have that average? I don't know. I had it up here. Now it's actually looking back in time and seeing what it got from the compact fluorescence. So that's no good. Um, <laughs> but yeah, if we go to our most recent ones here, that is the neon spectra.